back in spring you'd moved to tackle, right? And I guess what has this uh, kind of transition been like for you uh, going from one position to another to another? It's, uh, I expected to play tackle at the beginning of the season, but um, we needed a tight end. There's just a need for it, and I'm able to do both. So that's where I'm at right now. Is this like is this a long term switch for you? Is just is this just like this week? I mean, how has the situation I guess been explained to you? Um, for now, yeah, I'm back at tight end. Yeah, so I was at O line, then uh, I got brought over uh, last week, and um, yeah, I'm a tight end now. Remember when Brian O'Neill made the change and he was getting up at like three in the morning to eat peanut butter sandwiches and trying to gain weight? Did you have to go through a similar process and do you have to lose weight now? How does that work from a conditioning standpoint? Yeah, I'm just getting used to uh, running around again. Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm fine with my weight right now, maybe a little bit less, but I feel good running around, even though I'm a, a bigger body uh, tackle. But yeah, I feel uh, smooth running around. I just um, get back into that uh, running route shape. Is that the thing that that then is the the toughest? Is get just getting back to running routes and and maybe absorbing that part of the playbook that. Uh, I'm sure you've been learning, you know, other kind of stuff this all off season. Yeah, I would just say, yeah, the run game is good. Just yeah, the only thing that's really just going to be new again uh, is yeah, running routes and uh, which isn't hard. It's just a process and learning the routes and stuff, which is all familiar because I was there before. Grant, how much of defense has changed? And you see a lot of these three threes and, and different schemes of guys coming at you from different positions. How difficult is that to make sure you uh, find who you need to block? And do you expect a similar thing from NC State? Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we go over that stuff. Like when I was with uh, Coach Borably, he's a great teacher of breaking down these defenses and all like the concepts and like where everyone needs to go. It's not like I just know where I need to go. Like I understand where everybody else needs to go, which makes it a lot easier. Is there any advantage to going back to tight end now having been a tackle? Yeah, I would say, yeah, number one, the obvious one, blocking. Yeah, just um, we do so much, so many blocking drills. We focus on our hand, our foot drive, and all this stuff, our leverage. So, yeah, that's, that's definitely an advantage that I can uh, go back to tight end and use those tools. And your parents went to Pitt. Your high school coach went to Pitt. What if you had come to them and said, I'm going to go somewhere else? No, that, that's not that's not a question. That's not it. Yeah, we're pit people, and um, I'm a pit man. Grant, you uh, got c- kind of pushed into uh, duty, obviously, and then same thing happens with Carson Van Lynn uh, right next to you, and he gets kind of thrown into the game. Was he one of the guys that you had been kind of working with when you were trying to learn tackle, and, and what's your relationship with, with uh, him like having to play next to him now? Yeah, no, uh, when I was a tackle, yeah, he helped me out. The whole room really helped me out. And uh, last week in the game, yeah, we were uh, right next to each other, which is exciting. And, yeah, I'm excited to uh, be right next to him playing. Graham, what does it mean to the players to be nationally ranked? I It's it's nice and all. I think it's a good um, – yeah, we've been working hard. Like, we're just uh, uh, worried about – so driving us right now, just kind of to keep going and be the best we can be. Grant, have they been working more with you on getting you involved in the red zone? Because typically tight ends are put in a position where that would help. And uh, Pitt has had some stalls where they get closer to the goal line. Uh, what they, what have they been trying to kind of get, uh, get you inundated with so far? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we've been, I mean, I've, uh, kind of been doing some of the same stuff, even that tight end when I was a tackle, I have these certain packages I'm in. I mean, we'll see as time goes on. Yeah. We'll integrate some different things, but yeah, it's, it's all familiar and we're just going to see how it goes. Anything final for Grant? Yeah, Grant, obviously your, your, you know, your parents are close by here. Um, but you know, I guess Pat and, and Heather have been talking about trying to get the parents in the stands. What would that mean to you guys to have your families be there uh, maybe this Saturday or maybe sometime in the future uh, at Heinz Field? Yeah, that would mean a lot. I mean, it's it's nice to – even if there's not like a, a full uh, stadium full of people, it's still a nice just to know that the people you play for, the people that you love are in the stands. So that would be a – that would mean a lot if they could be there. Grant, how would you describe what it's been like with no fans? 
Um, it, it, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's the same kind of game. Yeah. It's the same game with all this kind of stuff, but yeah, there's obviously a little bit, uh, it's different because there's not that, uh, crowd as for that crowd noise. So it is a little bit different, but I mean, it's, yeah, we just keep going. Grant, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you guys. Have a great day.